Hello everybody, I am Realm Builder Guy, and this is City Skylines. Welcome back to the region of Cascadia, the town of Cascade itself. So I've done a little bit of work off camera, um, just expanding residential zones a little bit, upgrading some of the roads, adding some more commercial here right along Main Street, added some residential down here, expanded some of the industrial zone as well and added the industrial road so uh, we've got a, a little bit uh, we're becoming uh, slowly but surely civilized in the small town of cascade still have some dirt roads because i just feel like that still just adds that little bit of country vibe to it how do things stand right now if we get out of the cinematic camera right now you can see we've got just over 2100 in population Everyone's pretty happy. We're making good money, 3,300 a week, and just shy of 50,000. Now you can see we've got a little bit of, we've got low demand for industry or offices. Our commercial zone is pretty low demand, but it's rising. We've got fairly high demand for residential. I'm not going to make any major, major, major builds in this episode, but uh, what it's going to be about, as you can tell by the uh, headline, is how to detail a small town how I go about detailing now as I kind of mentioned in the first episode of uh, City Skylines here on the channel is I used to play like this all zoning pretty vanilla and then I kind of got into detailing thanks to people like $2.20 or Strict Toaster and now I'm coming back to, to this style and it's definitely a little bit different again for me I have to get used to it a little bit but we're gonna do a little bit of detailing and for that we do need certain mods at least I mean, you can vanilla detail. Uh, Overcharged Egg does a great job talking about that. Um, but we're going to be using some key mods. So the key mods for me, if you want to get into detailing and start off that way, is uh, Find It is a very important one right here because you can quickly find assets, um, growables, anything like that that you want to put down. Move It, very important to manipulate things. And then the other ones are Prop and Tree Anarchy as well as road anarchy. So if we go here real quickly into the different mods we've got going on here, um, move it is always in there. So there's not a ton you have to worry about that. Prop and tree anarchy, shift P gets that one going. And then road anarchy is somewhere right in here if I can find it. Um, it's, it's in here. I, I'm pretty sure it's in here, unless, of course, I didn't enable it, but uh, it, it, it's in there. But we're going to worry about, oh, there he is, right below that. Uh, <laughs> so that's Control A and Shift P. I was looking for Road Anarchy, not Clyte's Fine Road Anarchy. So uh, Control A gets the um, Road Anarchy going, and Shift P gets Tree and Prop Anarchy going. So if we go with... Uh, control A, you can see the little tweet icon here is now red and angry. And then if we just go over to Shift P, you can see down here at the bottom now, Prop and Tree Anarchy is on. Reason why this is important, because then I don't have to worry about a lot of the snapping or space or anything like that. And you can place trees onto existing assets. So when I talk about detailing this one, I'm really looking at a lot of these open green spaces right here. And it's going to be, some of it's going to be pretty basic. So we're, we're just going to be doing some, some foliage. So if we go in right here, zoom in a little bit, there we go. And we're just going to go and look at trees for now. Um, now, the one thing I always have to bear in mind is trees do cost money. So I do have some assets from the workshop which are all fantastic and look great from a variety of uh designers so there's um you know let's let's go with this one here let's just do a leafy tree this one just looks great see the construction cost it's 10. so you have to bear that in mind that we don't have unlimited cash so when we're putting down these trees it all does cost money so i'm going to go to this view just so that um i don't accidentally put this on a uh <laughs> on the top of a house we're just going to plop these down in here just to make it look a little bit nicer and again with the anarchy 
enabled, I don't really have to worry too much about uh, exactly where it's being placed. I can just kind of do whatever I want. Um, it's it's not overly, you know, I don't really have to concern myself with, oh, see, I could put it right here in the middle of this this road if I wanted to. I could put it right on top here. But, you know, that would be a little bit crazy. We are going to put one more. Let's put one more right here. So you kind of get the, the idea, but that all does cost a little bit of money. So let's just keep on going here. Put some of these just randomly around. Right now, these are just kind of open spaces that we're putting in. Uh, filling up a little bit. So with some different trees, I'm gonna pop in here, just to give it a little, little fuller feeling. Let's go with that one right there, and just populate it with trees, and then it doesn't look quite as wide open. Um, put this one in there, and now you can already see it's starting to to come together a little bit. Now the other thing we could do is, since it did get painted with some uh, previous, uh, with, with uh, what am I trying to say here? With the resources, uh, we've got fertile land and we have ore right underneath this. So we're gonna go to the ore. Let's bring that brush size, uh, a little bit smaller, brush strength, I may as well just go right here. And we're gonna right click and start eliminating that color from underneath where this town is. Now you can see it's exposing the fertile land. And uh, what we're then going to do is here, uh, you can already see where the trees are. It kind of populates a regular grass. If we go to the fertile land and we right click, that goes away and we just have the standard grass color. Now I'm gonna kind of want to do that for all of the town itself so that the fill in in between is just basically grass. So there you have it. We've kind of gotten rid of all of that underneath there and it is just, just straight up grass. Um, and the goal here is now I've left the ore out here just to kind of show a little bit darker earthy look to the industrial area. And this will all get filled up over time with houses. And what I like about this is if you zoom right in here, it's just grass as you would have inside a small town. So now uh, get around to filling up some of these other areas. So as you can see, filled in a lot of different areas now with some trees. Now we're gonna get into some of the little bit new year grittier type stuff. So if we just look at this little part here on the north side of town, um, let's see about having a park path. Let's see, we've got a gravel path. We've got a paved path. What else do we have here? We have a nature reserve path. And yeah, we've got a lighted or with decorations. We're gonna worry about that. A zoo path. Let's just do a nature reserve path. We're gonna draw that just, just down here behind some of these houses. Just kind of cutting through. You know, it just adds a little bit of something. So we're gonna go from here to here. And let's just go, there's nothing right there. So go out to this way. Kind of just connect those. Whoop, didn't wanna do that. All right, so that's gone. Let's bring that one in right like that. Boom. Meh. That doesn't really look great. Let's. Eh, I think we'll just leave that. Actually, what I'll do now is take the move it. And we'll go here. And get out of that. Move it. Grab that. Just kind of drag it over so it kind of ish connects along there. That doesn't look great per se. Actually, let's. There we go. Now we've got a few little park paths going in there. And now let's go 
and search here all let's put in bench and now we've got different benches we can look at here so we can let's zoom in here you can just put in a bench right over here there right click to turn it around I'll just put one right there and actually let's, let's turn it one this way and I think that gives us a few benches right there and then let's turn look up into the park a little bit boom there so now we've got benches going through there for people to sit down and here let's have kind of a community bench just put that one like right boom right there so now people can have like a picnic in behind let's put another one right over here perfect perfect uh next thing we'll then look at is maybe put in some rocks in here boulder number one that's a pretty big one uh, let's see it's getting bigger and bigger let's see what do we have here small yeah let's just put a big boulder in right behind there we go right right there boom scenic boulder as one has uh, those are a little big Those are breakwater rocks or just general rock formations. See, little, little big. We're, we're not going to go quite for for things of that size. Now, where we could put that, which could start looking pretty cool, it's kind of back in here. Have a rock formation. This is something you actually will find here in Colorado, uh, specifically where I live here in Colorado Springs. Have these kind of rock formations just jutting up. If we look at it. You know, it's just uh, just an old rock formation popping up there. And then we'll fill that also with some trees. So we filled in most of these areas now. Now let's go in here and add a little bit extra flavor. Okay, we're in a we're in a park. Uh, people are sitting there. And what are we looking for then? Of course, we need to look for, and this again using the Find It tool. Let's look at some garbage let's see we've got garbage bin there should be some nicer ones here's this is a dog park trash can so we'll actually here for people with with their dogs i can't tell if that's which direction that's going that doesn't matter a little little anarchy we'll have uh foam with people if they have their dogs and then yeah i think that'll work and then we will go back to just a regular garbage can right there and we'll put another one kind of down down in this neck of the woods and then maybe yeah let's put one right there of course that car is parked right there so what I'll actually do is we're gonna redo that one right there and let's go back to the park paths and see if we can do a better job. Eh, not not really. It's not not really jiving the way I wanted to. So let's see if we can try it a little bit differently. There, that looks a little bit better. I just used the regular, not the nature park, nature preserve paths, but just just some regular paths uh, to kind of fill that in a little bit. Now these people here also. They need garbage cans. Let's put one by each one of these kind of picnic benches. And then uh, I think what we'll do over here is kind of add a little bit of a, I'll call it a, not really a hedgerow, but let's look at some of the bushes. A smaller vegetation, that's ground vegetation. Let's see here, small bush. We'll use the prop line tool. Another excellent mod. Just kind of put that along there nicely. And that gives you a nice, nice row of bushes kind of along there, kind of getting between this dirt road and that path. 
think that works out nicely and maybe maybe add add a little bit extra here on this side as well oh perfect perfect we've got we got a little bit of symmetry here coming into this park which looks pretty nice i have to say overall pretty happy oh even got that uh dog park bin the right way around and let's maybe maybe add a, a few flowers in here as well so there we've got a little bit extra flower some bushes going around there a little, little accent tree going there as well so it's all looking really nice really inviting i mean it's a perfect kind of park you want to kind of cut through from this eh, dirt road on the edge of town to kind of get through the town itself uh people can cut in around here we've got the fire station you can kind of just get a little bit of walk around town and what you could do is even kind of extend this down through here get rid of some of those trees and have another path cutting down this way we may do that eventually have some paths cutting around here as well I'm not going to detail every single free space here but you you kind of get the idea of what we're going for so now the one thing that is a complaint here in town is right here we've got these guys are saying not enough educated workers so what that means is we already have an elementary school we need a high school and we are kind of expanding the town out this way and want some higher quality homes out this way so i think this is a good area out here to work on a high school project build a little bit so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to set out another one of these small roads just going to put that out here cut down in here so now we've got that taken care of next thing i want to do is get that uh, brush size about, yeah about right there brush strength and we're gonna start getting rid again of that uh, resource painting and you know kind of expose the fertile land and then get rid of the fertile land this is all just going to be green grass right in here for the next stage of build so now we've got forty three let let's take a look at high schools so i did download a few custom assets so we've got a few custom high schools. This one's 26,000. This one's 22,000. These are different zones. We've got a uh, synagogue. That's not a school, but well, I guess it is kind of, but we're just gonna go with the generic high school for now. The cost of the generic high school is 24,000. So it does cost a good chunk of money. And we're gonna put that high school, I think right here. We'll get some education as we build things out. So now we're down to 19,000. Now I put it out here because we're also going to start working on the high school ground. So in American high school, of course, we're looking for a football stadium. Now I don't know if I have that available just yet. Let's see. We've got this football stadium and then we've got the King Leno one. King Leno one I kind of want to use in the next city over. So we're going to take a look at this one right here. So it's pretty big. Must be placed on a roadside. So let's put that in behind there. That comes in as a park. So there you have it. You've got some parking right there. And it's right behind right behind the high school so we're going to do a little bit of detailing here and kind of fill up some of this area here as well all right so added some trees here added due to using road anarcho we got the path around here added some bushes here so it's got a little bit more going on now i'm not super happy with the way these fences look i'm, I'm not gonna lie they don't really mesh up all that well with uh, the paths so let's see about using another mod to kind of mess with that 
we're going to go in here in options just to kind of show you and prop it up control p so if we use control p just click on this and props on this you can see we've got industrial fence and industrial gate so if we just go here to the gate boom that gate is gone now we can also go here to the fence and remove that and that'll take get rid of the entire fence around it and honestly that's what i want to do so that was prop it up so now you've got all the fencing removed and we can kind of put in our own fencing now to add the detail that we want so uh, let's uh, have a quick look and see what kind of fence we have available to us and we've got uh, park fence I think park fence will actually work out really nicely now we have prop it up uh, sorry prop and prop and tree anarchy so we'll see if we can get it to just get rid of snapping here and we can add our own fencing along here see how that looks see you got a little bit of fencing going on right there got the park fencing I think that looks pretty good we'll just kind of extend that fencing all the way around here to make it look good I'm not gonna bore you guys with that right now but you kind of get the the gist of it so if you're using things like prop anarchy prop it up find it move it in road anarchy those can get a lot of detailing done that's modded that won't take up a ton of your FPS bandwidth. Now we're going to continue expanding this high school area and I'm going to do that probably off camera, show you guys the results then in the next episode. But that, that gives you an idea of what is all possible, the different steps I go through when it comes to detailing a certain area. Uh, now you can see up here, it looks like we're, we're missing some water and we are uh, our pumping capacity and consumption is not exactly jiving so we should add some extra water so we're going to go for a water pumping station and we'll just have it down noise pollution's pretty high and we could put another water tower on this side of town, but I don't really want that. I mean, the high school's right there. I'm not going to put any... <laughs> I'm not going to expand much beyond that. So let's just let's kind of try to hide this thing a little bit down here. Of course, it needs electricity. It would have electricity down here. So, you know, what? I'm just going to put it here for now. And we're going to connect those two. And let the game run a little bit. And boom. We've got enough water pumping capacity. It's got electricity. And everybody should be happy. So we're, we're good on availability. We are good on absolutely everything. So I hope you got gained a little bit from this. Um... Let's go back over here. Let's zoom around here. Didn't didn't mess with our industrial area, but I did like the little park put together in today's episode here. I'll zoom down in here to this part. Slow the traffic down. There's the donut mobile. I love that. All right, there we go. Nice little park here. People are using it, which is great. Now, I'm not going to use kind of park entrances and fees or anything like that to start off with. Oh, police patrol going right past. But um, yeah, I think we're starting to take shape again. There weren't huge builds in this one. It was more about detailing, adding some color, filling in some spots here. You see there's a house building right over there as we speak. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not 
if you're new to not miss any city skylines or any other content here on the channel. Until next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon.